we are going to the Mo'umonga. I think we can get some popo for the pigs because we leave early tomorrow. We're going to go to the plants to go to Vavau tomorrow. So we've got Gavika leading the way with Divine. Oh, yeah, went to Vailitama just then. Come home, and because we're going to go to Vavau pretty much first thing tomorrow morning, just going to get some popos for. Uh, for the pua, feed the pua and the and the moa and the chickens and make sure that they've got their food for tomorrow so we can feed them first thing tomorrow yeah. oh these kids move really quick <laughs> trying to catch up Yeah, mate, just, just trying to catch up, mate. We're on a mission. I love this, eh? Like, just coming out. So much to do. <laughs> what you bring that for? Oh, just to carry it? <laughs> or are you just gonna tie it? Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. I just brought it just in case. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one here, is this not good? Or not? No. How can you, how can you tell? Just soft? Soft, and some of them will be stuffed to the ground. They're growing. They're growing, yeah. And then the rest of this nice and lovely. Nice and wholesome. Nice and what? Nice and wholesome. Okay. And obviously when you come to the Motmanga, the mozzies, the mosquitoes, they're unbelievable. They come from everywhere. Mosquitoes, oh, I was saying mozzies, mosquitoes. Namu, 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 just get eaten alive like I am right now. <laughs> the vines are in there, she's tying it up. These ones here are no good? No. No? Okay mate, you're the boss mate. Oh, hmm? So much land to still clear, rain. Yeah. Weed kill. We are right under a coconut tree. Always be mindful when you're walking under a coconut tree to make sure you move fast. Move very fast. Is this a SE tree or no? Divine? Or no? Is it SE right here? Very nice. Where's Gavik? Huh? Yep. Yeah. 
for this big with a big. What are you doing with the van? Well, switching the car counter. She wants them to be even. Like a big one with a big one. Do you think it's a big one? Slow one with a small one. She might. So I'll win volleyball. He wins that. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, trash talker right here, mate. What's Beautiful evening. It's been raining pretty heavily out here, here lately. Hey, the past week's been pretty much heavy rain, eh? Yeah. Like on and off, so today's not a bad day. Absolutely beautiful. Not as beautiful as my nephew here. Look. Yes. So guys and girls, when he gets back to the Kalgoorlie there, <laughs> make sure you hit him up. What's your number? Uh, why don't you give him my number? Ah, oh, he doesn't give it away. He doesn't do ho thangs. Yeah. You didn't do ho thangs? No, nah, mate. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> so pretty much is the boundary we were at here. Well, this is part of the old, the family, family land here, which someone's I'm not sure what you call it, leasing or someone's using at the moment. We've got a couple of cows, which I can't see anymore. Yeah, I think they're all gone. They must have moved the cows. So they're still part of their family land, but there's some sort of deal going on over there but they can't build a house it's the only thing they can use it I think for their crop and to call their their kiapulas their kalo and whatever they want to do to farm in the land and cows and whatnot but um, they can't build we're we coming back this way divine yeah so right now I'm just um, I'm a supervisor Oh, smells like fresh grass being um, burnt, eh? Yeah. We're here in the outback, in the jungle of Mutiatele. Here we have, we have the coconut hunter. His name is Divine. As you can see, the way he's holding that dust, a bit, it's very dangerous. He's a dangerous man. He's looking for his prey, his coconati. Has he found it? You will soon find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is where we were, eh? What's that? Has he got it already? No. Where is he? So. Oh, he's all the way over there. He's got six. Well, he has six Gavika over there. This guy's just cutting branches down. <laughs> oh, you're looking for your... Oh, he's looking for his tool to carry the coconut tea. Good stuff, Divine. Good work, mate. Oh. That's... That's what she said, but it's not the... The size doesn't matter. Apparently, yeah. The size doesn't matter. When it comes to finding a tool to... um to carry the coconut tea. So what the vine's doing here is just uh, he's looking for that that stick that stick that uh, it's gonna bring home the bring home the bacon. You know what? 
Yeah, are you right? Yeah, let's go. So, Garvika is. Not sure if you can see him, but. Oh, there he is, dear. You can see him. That's where he's at. That's like the main road that um, goes past the, the house. This is the land clearance that we did. Over here. Oh, he's already, um, what do you call it? Kokot some kia pula, eh? Yeah. Oh, so he's already started. So right where the kia pula is there, that's where we cleared that land. And this is the, the little tree house there. This guy <laughs> so yeah, already um, got some kia pulas back there. That's the land that we cleared the other week. I think it's the first week we were here. Right there guys. Um, yeah. Cut down the tree so that it gets um, the sunlight that it needs. So that the uh, hot sun and the heavy rain can hit the... Um, the plantation like evenly so that way when the gallo comes up through the ground it is uh, ready to eat when the time is right that way it grows properly grows proper but look it looks pretty naked here now look it's quite um oh a bit of a close up so that way it gets all the sunlight no trees except for this breadfruit tree here Oh, yeah. Eventually the old man wants all of this he wants this whole pretty much this whole land to be covered in galos. This whole Makmanga here. So no worries mate. <laughs> and uh the one over there is chi hooing because he's trying to get uh, trying to get more of these bad boys here, mate. Yeah, hey, look at this thumbnail. Oh, this coconut is almost the same size as my head. Put this back there. Yeah. I'm gonna get this other one here for the vine. You coming back here, Divine? You coming back here? Let's go. It's getting dark, mate. I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. It's getting dark. Come save me. Oh. Thanks for bringing my uh, my fruit basket, mate. All good, mate. No worries. That's all so far. You got? Oh, have you got seven? Is this one too? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, these are the ones that I threw here. Yeah, I'm not sure. There was three of them here. I got confused. I threw two, I threw two, and then I saw the third one. Is that rain? Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. So, you yeah. keen on Vival tomorrow? Yeah. Have you been to Vival before? You boys been? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Vival tomorrow and then hopefully Monday we can um, check out Song Yaku waterfall. <laughs> Hear that, guys? Beautiful rain. Oh, it's coming down. It's Makwa rain right now. Woo! Beautiful. They're going to be yelling out soon. Ale, okay, mu. Oh, my. Hello. 
Oh, was I doing it with that guy? Nah. We start off with you and Garvey. It's our neighbour over there. Oh, weirdo. I don't know you. <laughs> right, man. We all family here. Happy. We all live harmoniously. Woo! Oh my God. Yo. Let's go now. Are you gonna park the last two? Yeah. Yeah. Good work, goodbye. Yeah. I'll just stand here and report. Doing a good job. <laughs> oh, Auntie's phone's gonna get drenched. Ooh. All good? Yep. Now we're gonna see. So, what are you doing here, Divine? Alright, this little tool we like to call. Holding the coconut. <laughs> Holding the coconut. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Yeah, bring up basket. Good. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. There we go. Yeah. Here we go, mate. Thumbnail, mate. Thumbnail. With your sapelo. Hold it like you mean it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah like that. No, no. Three, two. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Grandma's going to be yelling out soon. She's probably already yelling out. We can't hear her, though. Let's go, mate. Good work, Divine. Lavika. Maro. Uh, he's gone. You already started walking back towards the house. I got it. I got it. You keep going. It's all right. Thanks, mate. All right, mate. Oh, what else am I good for? I'm only um. I'm only just recording, eh? Don't stop rain. Don't stop. Oh. Oh. Woo. Good work, Divine. You know what I've just come to realize is um so my nephews are pretty on to with this with these um fiels but some more so um the full call oya kavika Yeah, take a foot, put it all up. Okay. Yeah, well, watch out for Kavika's face. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, oh, hoi, hoi, hoi. Yeah, three, two, one. Hey, sick. Well, what, Kavika? Another nephew here, Kavika. I wanted to beat him. So really good like what I was trying to say before to the viewers is um I feel like I'm getting lost here in in the Mokmanga like it's so it's, it's crazy it's like everywhere you you look you look left and you look up in front look to the right obviously that's the roadside there and look behind you nothing but gallo um, and it's a, it's a flex, eh? Like, and it's a good flex, like I feel anyway. And it's a positive flex um, for for Dad anyway, the old man. Is that he's almost he's probably about seventy percent of of just this part of the land, part of the family land that is um, covered in gallo. And he's a... How old's Grandpa, Divine? 66 or 67? 63, 63 is cool. I think he's 66. 67 this year, I believe. So, after, yeah, so three more years, I'm pretty sure it's his 70th. But, um, he's been working this land hard. Ten years. 
um, which this month is January 2024, is uh, the anniversary of his, yeah, of the passing of his brother from when he um, stayed here permanently and moved here um, from from Australia, from Kalgoorlie to be specific. That's when he, that's the last place that uh, he was at before when he left Australia was Cal. And 10 years he's been working all of this. Um, and it, um, you know, uh, maybe the um, son-in-law or, um, but I'm very much part of the family, you know, and I feel that. I feel the love um, from Eve's parents and just like um, gratitude, like like all of his, oh, gratitude's not the word. It's um, just feel blessed to be able to witness the old man's hard work, like like I just showed before, it's you look to the left, you look to the right, look behind you, and in front of you, it's just nothing but galu. And that's his favorite, that's his favorite starch, his favorite um, source of um, carbs. He doesn't like, he doesn't like rice very much. I think katmu he likes too. Katmu is pretty much similar to to galu. E kukusa e E kukusa ka mu male kalo e soro pele e s e s e s e a ah okay so I'll just shut up oh get away from this under this coconut tree oh no it's it's coming out wrong I didn't know how to um say it like it's similar like a potato and a sweet potato is is a difference of a kalo and a ka mu like in my mind anyway because it tastes very very much the same or similar very similar but um yeah all the hard work eh? it's it's crazy like nearly every inch of this block is um all this hard work and you know he's had in the last it's only since only since june yeah i, th I think only since the end of may start of june where he's had a worker well, he's had at least one worker. One, there's a, a very short period. He had two workers here um, helping him, and he would tell them what he'd want or what work he wants wants doing. Um, yeah, but and that's only like six months, just on six months, seven months of having workers. But before that, he's been here ten years this month, and um, yeah, he's done he's done a lot. You know what I also noticed here since being in Samoa is how many bats there are. They just fly around even during the day. Like there's heaps of them, eh? Hmm. So the house is there. Getting there. Slowly getting there. But we're just trying to get as many... As many... Uh, Bopos as possible. Fia oi a kavika. Se full lima, se full wong. Se full fiku popo. Se full. Fringa oi me. Aloha. Good work. So it's going on to what's that time? Oh, seven o'clock. So seven p.m. Getting closer to the house. We're just boys are just getting more coconuts before we um, uh, head back home.
Mä kuulun. Strong guy. All right, the one you want me to carry it or? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't, don't thing. Just get through. Let's go back and then jump in the shower. Then try not to scratch. Just makes it worse. Good job, mate. Did Davy go already good? Yeah, well, he's heading back that way. <laughs> go work, Michael, work. Straight up. Huh? Oh, I wonder one, careful. Oh, these are the things you use for the locks, for the bugs. Oh, yeah, this this one here? Yeah, this. Mm. I just like because of the smell. Strong for the smell. Probably the same sort of smell that I'm smelling on myself right now. Ah, you still got more than me, but. Back, a back. Huh? Cool. Yeah, man. Doesn't matter how heavy it is, eh? Yeah. These guys can handle it. It's not if we run it straight. <laughs> different fun. Kalgoorlie water is different, mate. Divine, let's move back. Mano waka wiko. We on the move.
There we have it guys. Good work boys. Good work. Just there's one over there. Okay, so because Lou and I went to a beer on our own yesterday, we wanted to make sure that today we take all the boys um, out to Kafal. So we're going to Kafal. So Lou's already done a trip because we only have the one car and we have there's so many of us. So Lou's done the first trip to take um, Tay and the boys. Some of the boys to Vaval and now um, he's come back to pick up me and Yose and Divine. Thanks babe, you're the best Uber driver. <laughs> no for love too. <laughs> too. Look at that. Look at that view. So yeah, this is La Lomano. This is where we got we got our beef burgers What's from that? here. That, um, I forget what it's called. And then this is Taufua Beach Fales. We stayed up there when we came last time. And we also had some um, beach fales too. I would love to come here and um, come back here just for a night. And the fales, eh? Yeah, just, yeah. The beach fales are, the way, beach better. Fales are way better. How beautiful it is. Yeah. So pretty. So, so this is another one too. What's this one called? There's no name. Oh, Anita's, Anita's restaurant. Anita's restaurant. Yeah. Their restaurant's not too bad too. We ate there in July. Yeah. Yeah, it's only there. So yeah. yeah, Lalomano. Lalomano is so beautiful. when you see them running around one day and the next. Not that it's our own picks though. This is... Oh, what follies were those? There's a few eh, beach follies here in Lalaban. Yeah. Different, owned by different families. That a uh, landslide. Look at all these big boulders here. Massive. Well, I'll see. It's full of It's full of so Lima's full on, so 2015, 2016. It was massive. It reminds me of work. Which is pretty sad. I don't wanna be I don't want anything to remind me of work. <laughs> Back in Australia. But yeah. Rocks as big as my biceps. It's pretty big. Big as your head too. Mm. <laughs> what divine? As big as his head too. Yeah, cheeky this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to know I've been saying like Positive, encouraging words, and he's like throwing me under the bus. This guy. <laughs> so the landslide came from up there. Yeah. And there's signs, which the signs have gone down. You can't see it now, but it's just a warning for people of um, landslides in the area. The big sign back there. There's another one up here in front of us somewhere. We can see like a, a quarter of the sign. See, so, so this is on the way to Vavau from Mutiatele. Yeah, and it's good. It's only f literally a 30 minute drive. If the roads were really good, it would be probably just under 30 minutes, like under 30 minutes. It's gonna say 30 meters there. Yeah. It's so nice. I mean, they could probably like, kill their moo a little bit here. You know, we're talking about Kia This, yeah, this, this uh, what do you call it? Village probably wouldn't have been gone into the top 10, I don't think. Sad. Oh, look at it. Yeah, there's no people out here. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just saying, like, yeah, probably yeah, no people. Well, they live live too far away to keep it cut off, you know. Just to clean the edges off a bit. Oh, there you go. Public tip. How beautiful that is. Just passing 
Tonga Reef right there. And the reef resort. DJ, what happened to the DJ? Yeah, she's having issues she's trying to connect with the Bluetooth. It's connected, it's connected for calls, but not for music. Oh, no. And everything's in um, an Asian writing. I'm not sure if it's Japanese or like the stereo. So it's a little difficult to navigate. Oh, the view driving back is beautiful, eh? Like, yeah, coming back from Baval. How blessed we are to have such a beautiful country. To Vaval. The road going down to Vaval is really bad. Was that? Apparently, it's worse than this. So it's improved. Oh, really? Yeah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of room for for improvement anyway. But yeah, no funds on. You know, I guess it's the village that have to. The bottom, very bottom part of it is all right once they get that coming up all the way through. Yeah. Like it's concreted properly, proper. Yeah. But yeah, so this is the road. So if you're going to come to Vaval, um, these are the conditions of the road. <laughs> so just keep that in mind when you guys come. Right, sedans get down here. Right? Yeah. So just wanna, don't want to overload your sedan. You can be fine before you drive. Yeah. And everyone's um, vans are so low too, eh? Mm. Yeah. I'm heading there, look at that. Wow, oh. hilly. Yeah, so right. this part here of the road is good. Driveway? Off the driveway, sorry. Right, right I guess. Right. But then it goes bad again over there. It's not too bad. It's, this bottom part's alright. There's not much of it. But people still come. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the condition of the road because the destination is worth it. Spot on, eh? It's fantastic. It's busy. Hold on. Yep. So now we are it's going packed. to find our faleo. All the way in the back there. I think we might park in front of the toilet block and here. The boys are and Tay. Oh. It's. Pretty packed. Oh, oh the tide's coming pretty quick. People have their volleyball net set up here. That's cool. Where? Right 
There's our boys right there. We're just parking the shade too. Oh, there man. they are, right there. <laughs> So we've arrived and they're starving. <laughs> How was the swim? It was all good. It was all good. The tide, the tide looked as so soon as, as soon as we hopped in. Yeah, when we got in, the tide just came up. All oh, wow, up. really? It was all the way back to there. We couldn't even... Something in there. Well, if you just go down there, you can't really... It's, it's so there. packed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we've made it! There's no one playing there. We should just make our own team. I've been waiting for ages to go play. I mean, are you going to go for a swim, babe? Yeah. Looks like the boys are having so much fun. I'm so glad that we brought them out. They finished playing volleyball over here with these kids, and now they've gone into the water playing rugby in the water <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we got the chance to come out and bring them because we've just been so busy they're in there <laughs> they all look like locals so funny trying to get some drone footage. It's quite windy, eh? Yeah, it's, really it's pretty windy. So we got scared and brought the drone back. <laughs> but I think you got enough, eh? Hey? Yeah, I think I got like three or four shots, I think. Yeah, nice. Yeah. It's a perfect day for it, eh? Have you seen um, something different this time round with Vaval Beach? Oh yeah, the rope. Yeah, the rope. The two ropes. So, yeah. yeah. So there weren't ropes here in July. I think it's a good it's a safety, kind of like a safety net thing. So it's those ropes. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a rope that goes along there, and then there's another yeah, one it's over pretty there. Good. Yeah. It's pretty good. In case I'm sucked out into sea and can't, not a very good swimmer, just hopefully grab onto the rope. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what it's for. It's good, eh? Mm, it's good. And it's, the current's quite strong. It's, it's, it's as calm and as it looks from here, it's quite, when you're in the water, it kind of slowly takes you out. It's very strong. And when you come, you also get these um, beach follies. See? These? Mm. It's really cool, so everyone just spreads out. Yeah. Look at those heaps. Those heaps yeah. Are really nice. It's, it's good. Nice the shade of these trees are really like. Yeah, these especially, big especially trees here. Yeah. yeah. See? Nice. They can play volley with us, you know. Half of the volleyball courts under the shade. Under the shade. Look how big those waves are. What? No, that's what the other man said that the wave is big. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll get the boys in soon. To head off soon. Right now, bring a bay fella. Yeah, fella, now for you, Leon. Yeah, there's mud. So you definitely saw bugs in there? I just took bugs out of it. Oh. Put the lids on it straight away. I'm oh, not too using it. Play for Mixing it in there. Mm. 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 Mm.
Well, being on a family, we will be followed for a while. I call and do it. Well, we can just put it in. Yeah, put it in. Yes, in me. Thank you, my lord. I'll put the thing up for safety. It's the locking device, right? pineapples I've ever tasted in my whole life and I'm not even being biased. Me too. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Mm. They're so juicy. <laughs> and so and sweet. sweet. Too many for you, bro. You went in and I only had one. Oh. I literally had no, one. Oh, man, that's it. See, that is no juice because you're taking all the juice ones. Oh, this goes inside that or in here? In the drink, in the whole drink. So it gives it that puree thing. Two and a half. So two big ones and a small one, eh? Yeah. Didn't even get footage of the of them before we cut them. Yeah, ice. Ice will be perfect for perfect, it. Perfect, bro. Yeah. Maybe I bought that. There's another two milks there too.
<coughs> Let's get a big scoop. There's another milk there too. <laughs> This scoop here. Yep. Yeah. Big scoop. Swap with you. Okay. Nice. Thank you. The the pork. Did you take it to the ESC? The pigs. The pigs that you've got. Two pigs. No. Oh, you should have taken. We're not going to eat it all. Oh, one more. Three? There's three milk. Any of these ones? They're not cold. They're all right, but they're not cold. It doesn't fit in the freezer. Should we go to what? Lord, that Lalo Manu shop have ice? Oh, no. no, they didn't even have anything in their freezers the last time we were there. How about the other one, the blue shop? At the tea intersection. Oh. Well, are we giving this to the miners or not? No, just take it straight to the hole. Mm, to the hole. Okay. If you're going through here, there's a hole right at the end of the fence. Oh, not okay. Boys are now wrestling. Look at the audience. Don't kill him. Don't Wait, 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 yeah. What is this move? What is this move? <laughs> the coaches. This guy here. Come on, baby. Turtle. Turtle that thing. Use your legs, Noah. Use your legs. Oh, watch out for the arm. Noah, tap. If Good work. <laughs> Good work. No. You can't. In the next episode of Life of a FIFO family, join us as we share more of our journey. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.